Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and my name is Siri and welcome back to another video. In this video, I have something important to share with all of you. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So in this video, let's talk about self-love, which is very important in my life. So we are going to divide this video into three parts. One, what is self-love? Two, my story of self-love. Three, why self-love? So first, let's talk about what is self-love. I don't know what is the definition of self-love um, in Google or to anyone. I don't know all that. But I'm just going to say what self-love is in my opinion, what I feel about self-love. Self-love is not depending on anyone to take care of yourself because you are completely responsible for yourself. See, we are living in this era where we need someone to come up to us and tell us that, you know, you please eat on time or else your health will be spoiled or you please take care of yourself. We are living in this era is what I feel. But self-love is something that you will have to take care of yourself on your own. And there's no point of depending on anyone to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, you feel confident about the way you look. You feel confident about the way you speak or anything. And if you want to feel confident, you definitely got to work upon yourself. And that working upon yourself itself is called self-love, in my opinion. This is what self-love means. Now, let's talk about my story of self-love. So when I was 17 years old, I got to know that I have PCOD. I know many of you know what PCOD is. So when I got to know that I have PCOD, I have two options here. One, I can ignore it, saying that these days a lot of people have PCOD, so I don't have to worry about it. I have one option. And I can just leave this stress upon my parents, my brother, my mother and my father. They can worry about this. I don't have to worry about this. They can take care of myself. I have one option. Option number two, which is to realize the problem and to work upon myself. I'm glad and I'm proud of myself that I stick with reason number two, which is to work upon myself. You don't believe me when I say this. My life was completely different before I was 17 years old. And now it's completely different. I completely changed as a person. I've become more responsible. I have become more independent, I would say. Uh, because as you grow, you will realize that you are only responsible for yourself. Now I can leave that stress on my parents as well. They can be behind me all the time telling me that you know Siri please take care of your health eat that eat this why did why are you don't why are you eating junk and all they can be behind me all the time because I never wanted to give that stress to them they themselves have a lot to deal with in their life I do not want it to add an extra burden to them so that's why I sticked with the second option which is to take care of myself and I'm a very stubborn girl very stubborn when i say very stubborn very very when i stick to something i make it happen Sadly, i have sticked to that decision of taking care of myself i follow it till today till today i take care of my health i am completely responsible for what i eat i am completely responsible for how i look i am completely for responsible for everything in me Right, strongly believe in life that instead of being that person to whom someone has to come and tell you that you please eat on time, you please take care of yourself, why not you be that person who would take that responsibility to take care of your family? See, when I have started to maintain a healthy diet, when I started to take care of myself. I have started to take care of my family as well in terms of eating good food. I have told all my family to eat good food. Like we all together try our best to eat healthy food. That started with my decision of taking care of myself. So you always do not have to be the person to whom someone has to tell you that you please eat on time. You please take care of yourself. You always do not have to be that person. You can also be this person who can take care of your closed ones, your loved ones. You can also be that person. And you do not know how beautiful it is. 
it's important to take care of yourself we've got only one life we have to keep our health healthy we have to maintain the way we look we have to maintain every single thing in our body we are responsible for it because the result that you get after you taking care of yourself is just outstanding believe me when i say this because i feel so confident about myself now because i know how much of effort i put in order to take care of myself i know how much of time i spend to build good habits in my life i tell you all journaling i tell you all about you know drinking lots of water taking care of your skin taking care of your hair why do i have to tell this to you just telling you all this because it's important it's important to take care of yourself i think this message reaches to people who are single because when you are single you're not in any relationship you are responsible for yourself guys even when you are in any relationship i strongly believe that you do not have to depend on someone to come up to you and tell you that please eat on time please take care of yourself see of course that shows their care even my parents do that that they even now tell me that you know take care of yourself eat on time they will still do it because they love us they care for us but before that why are you depending on someone to just to just tell you that you please take care of yourself aren't you stable enough to take care of yourself you have everything with you right then why are you not taking care of yourself yes i'm talking to you why are you not taking care of yourself why are you ignoring everything because at the end of the day you have to suffer not people you have to suffer if you do not take care of yourself please do keep this in mind and if you are giving this remote of your life to someone else that's not right <laughs> that's not right at all i believe a lot in practicality i am a very practical person i would say no matter what happens in life you fought with your friend you had a bad day what has food done to you why are you showing that anger on food why are you not eating it why why are you not sleeping well see at the end of the day food is important we all have to eat we all have to eat to live right so let me just give you a simple example let's say i had a fight with my friend okay with one of my closest friends let's say now because i had that fight with my friend i am not going to eat food until that person comes up to me and tells me that you know i'm sorry please have your food i'm not going to do that i am not at all going to do that okay i might had a fight with that person but food has done nothing to me right i have to eat my food on time i have to bath on time i have to sleep well i have to take care of myself at the end of the day no matter what there is no point of showing anger that you got from someone on someone else is what i strongly believe in life so you do not need a person to tell you that you please eat on time to take care of yourself to maintain yourself you do not need a person like that you are enough for yourself of course you have to take care of your parents so why not you be that person who is taking that responsibility to take care of your parents as well instead of being that burden to everyone out there so that's what i really want to tell you all because i have seen a complete change in my life once i have taken this decision of taking care of myself till today i do not compromise on the time that i spend on myself no matter what i spend time with myself no matter what i take care of myself no matter what i eat food on time someone do not have to come up to me and tell me that you please eat food on time i know that i will take care of myself and of course my mom every day she calls me and siri every day she calls me in the afternoon and asks me that siri did you eat it's because of her love i understand that but do not give that stress to them that oh my children are oh my children are not eating on time oh, they are not taking care of themselves see my mother feels extremely happy when i do things on my own like, do everything by myself and my mom loves that about me that you know for siri 
I don't have to take an extra stress. She is going to take care of herself. But she is going to show love upon me. And I love that love. Of course. Who doesn't? But I just want to tell you that, you know, please do not be that burden on your parents. An extra burden on your parents. That they have to take care of you. This applies a lot to teenagers and to people who are in early 20s. Of course, I'm in my early 20s. I'm telling you this because this is a major change that I've made in my life. And this is what self-love means to me. You have to take care of yourself no matter what. You are responsible for the food that you eat, the way you maintain yourself and the decisions that you take in life right now, you are completely responsible for that. So you choose, do you want to be a burden or do you want to be someone who you can take care of yourself and you can take care of your loved ones as well. So you please remember that in your life is what I truly wanted to say in this video. And I would say life is all about balance and it's very important to find that balance. And for me in life, I found that balance is what I believe. And of course, everything is going to take time. Now, just because I told you, you're not going to change. Maybe you will change. If you change, I'll be very happy for you. If you do not, you will have to suffer, not me. So please do remember this. Let's talk about third part, which is why self-love. Because at the end of the day, you're responsible for yourself. You are a grown-up. You have to take care of yourself. You're not a kid. You're not a kid that someone has to come up to you and tell you that you do this. You are responsible for yourself. What are you even thinking? Why self-love in the sense? You are responsible for yourself. Nobody else. See, people are going to tell you 100 things. People are going to tell you a lot in life. But it is you who has to tell all that to your brain. Now, I've told you a lot about self-love. You tell that to your brain. You please tell that to your brain. And because... You are completely responsible for yourself. Even the way you think, your thoughts, your overthinking, your stress, your anxiety, everything. You are responsible for that. If you're facing anxiety, it's because of you. If you're facing that stress, it's because of you. If you're unhealthy, it's because of you. You have to change things in your life. And that's why self-love is important. Self-love is something that we all need to consider in life. And I truly believe in it. And I want all my subscribers to take this seriously. And please start taking care of yourself. Because again, I'm telling you, you are completely responsible for everything in your life right now. Because you guys are not small kids anymore. Be it English fluency, I would say. I'll tell you 100 things. At the end of the day, you are the one who has to tell that to your mind. Right? Right? So you please start taking care of yourself. That's what I would like to tell you. You see so many people, right? You see so many people who are good looking or you see people who are like, who do really take care of themselves. Now, what do you learn from them? You should also start taking care of yourself. And it's a very easy process. We all assume that, oh, in order to take care of ourselves, we need all the expensive stuff and all. No, small changes are enough in life to take care of yourself. For example, instead of eating junk, cut down on junk and eat home food. Eat that on time. That's a very small change to take care of yourself. Instead of drinking cold drinks, drink lots of water. That's a change that you're making. Instead of spending a lot of time on social media, start journaling, start reading a book or start watching interviews that you like. That's a small change that you can make. Instead of spreading negativity, be that person who spreads positivity. Very small change. Instead of being that person to whom mom has to always tell you to drink water, why don't you go and give a glass of water to your mom? Such a small change. And all these small changes, they make a very big difference in life. But at least try all the changes that I've just told you and see how much of things are going to change for you. Trust me, they actually do. And yes, that's all I wanted to share in today's video. I just wanted to share a very basic concept, but I feel it's extremely important and one who realizes this, your life is going to change. Trust me. And maybe someday I will share my story of transformation, how I have started to, you know, maintain my diet. Some other day I will share that to all of you, but I've tried to share the base concept with all of you, which is self-love. So you have to start loving yourself. 
nobody else is going to do that for you start loving yourself start love the way you are if you do not love yourself please try to become the way you love that's it as simple as that so i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you guys want more such talks i'm always happy to do all this because i feel i have a lot of stuff to share with all of you so yes i will see you guys in my next video till then you take care like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys very soon take care of yourself bye